Wow. I never thought I'd see the day. I actually saw a found footage horror film that's actually engaging. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Creep. So before I review Creep, my guest star, Oscar the Movie Guy, is going to be reviewing this film as well as give you the overall plot synopsis of the film. So Oscar, take it away man. Hey what's up, it's Oscar the Movie Guy and today I'm to give you a review for a horror movie called Creep. Creep is directed by Patrick Bryce and it stars Patrick Bryce. Now before I begin with this review, I just want to say that I was invited to do this movie review from a really cool YouTuber named 22 Tiger Dude. He asked me if I wanted to review a horror movie for the month of Halloween and I was like, yeah, sure. So he gave me the options and I decided to choose the movie Creep. I have no idea what the movie was about, so I found it and I saw it on Netflix and I'm here to do a review on it. Creep is about a guy named Aaron who is basically a cameraman and he finds like this ad like on Google or Craigslist about someone who wants to like film himself like uh, for a day in a life vlog and so he gets the job he's offered like a lot of money and so basically what this guy Aaron the camera guy is film his client Joseph to see like what he does and basically he has cancer and so they spend the day together but as time goes on Aaron finds out that Joseph is not who he thinks he is. Going into Creep, I really did not have that much expectations. I mean, it was a horror movie. It was a found footage horror movie with two people throughout the runtime. And what did I think of this movie? This movie was actually good. I liked it. The performances were good. That's that's all I can say about the acting. I mean, come on. I mean, you can't you can't really criticize the acting when it's only two actors. But the running time is pretty short. It's only like an hour and 17 minutes, which is pretty freaking short, especially for a found footage horror movie. But it actually worked. But I honestly would have loved to see more of this movie. And I gotta say, without spoilers, I really did not like how it was executed. I bet other people will have their own opinions about the ending. Okay, so Aaron, who is the main cameraman, he does a good job. I mean, you can tell that he's a nice person and doesn't want to be disrespectful to his client, which I can understand that. I mean, I consider that to be realistic. And this is gonna sound very cliche, but the aspect was pretty creepy. <laughs> Get it? Because creep is the name of the word, so I just added the word eep, so that'd be creepy. Is this movie scary? Not really. I mean, it really pisses me off because most of the scares in this movie is jump scares, 100%. Like, there's no real tension. It's just, I consider it to be a lazy horror movie, mainly because of jump scares. You see, jump scares are not scary. They're just, a, they're just cheap. Like the audience who just want to go to the movies and be scared and have fun. That's not my type of movie going. I'm a film critic. We deserve better scares in a horror movie. But I guess I can't really compare this movie to any other found footage horror. I mean, I definitely cannot compare it to Paranormal Activity. And this guy who's played Joseph, which I forgot what his name was in real life. He, he definitely played a creepy character. This movie can get sometimes unpredictable, which is good because it's creating tension. But it's a waste after the movie is over. And there has been rumors that a sequel could be developed in the next few years, which honestly, if it's like different characters, then I would definitely like to see a sequel or something that's connected to the first one. And I'm going to be giving Creep a B minus, three out of five stars. It's definitely a good horror movie. Like if you want a short found footage horror movie with cheap jump scares and Go ahead and watch it. Thank you so much, Oscar the Movie Guy, for reviewing Creep. Let's face it, when it comes to the horror found footage films, it doesn't really work out. For sci-fi, it has. Chronicle has proven to be a great sci-fi found footage film, and Project Almanac, which I actually thought was pretty good, that proved to be a pretty good sci-fi found footage film. But with horror, 
found footage for some reason for the most part it's really been just sucking this is one of those rare occasions where a horror found footage film is actually good or in this case in my opinion great i actually thought creep was a freaking great movie it's not scary but it is a movie that has creepy moments to it and the interesting thing about this film is that you could view it as two different ways there could be one person that finds this movie more funny than creepy and then you could have that other person that finds this movie more creepy than funny and that's really nice when you can make a movie and give a certain audience member a different perspective from that other audience member and I think that's what makes creep such a really unique found footage horror film. Patrick Bryce, he directs this film, he writes this film, and he also stars in this film. And then you have Mark Duplass who wrote the film along with Patrick Bryce, and he also even stars in this film like with Patrick Bryce. And this film really only has two characters. When you describe the plot of this movie and you say it only has two characters, that could sound boring. Like when you read that on paper, that could sound boring. But because Patrick Bryce and Mark Duplass knew what they were doing when they wrote the script for this film and how they executed it, Creep actually became a very well-written, very inventive found footage horror film with really just two actors in it. I thought the found footage was used so well in Creep. I thought the cinematography looked beautiful. And Patrick Bryce does such a really great job directing Creep creep because he really does bring you in this atmosphere he really makes you feel like you are the character of Aaron who is with this very creepy guy and I will say Patrick Bryce he was really good in this film really liked him I thought he did a very good job with Aaron but of course the standout is Mark Duplass as the creep. This movie is titled Creep for a reason because my goodness, Mark Duplass as the creep. He really did creep you out. His mannerisms, the way he would talk to the character Aaron, and was also actually funny. Like you could actually both get creeped out by him, but also laugh at him at the same time. And sometimes you could be both creeped out and laugh, which is a weird but funny feeling you could get for a horror film like this. And I thought it actually worked out when the movie tries to go for more of the funny route and i think this movie is more goofy than it is creepy but when it gets creepy especially as the movie is progressing i'm gonna say at least halfway through that's when more of the creepiness really starts to come in and it's really all to mark duplass something i really do appreciate about creep as well is that even though joseph that's the name of the creep He's a creepy guy. You actually do feel sorry for him because he does have a mental illness. He does have something in his brain that causes him to act that way. So even though you're creeped out by him, you can't help but feel sympathy for him because of him being mentally not very well. There were a few times in Creep where I would actually turn around in my room I actually turned around in my room because I was even scared that Mark Duplass might even be in my room while watching this film. And that's not often when a horror film makes me just want to turn around. But when you make me do that, you know you did a very successful job making a horror film. And I'm just going to say this, the ending of the film, while I can see the ending not working for some people. I actually thought the ending was brilliant because it actually did make sense for what the entire film was setting up and not to mention I got the chills. The very last scene of Creep just gave me the freaking chills and it was great. Now really my only problems to be honest with Creep is that there would be these false jump scares that do get quite repetitive and a little bit annoying and really they mainly come from Mark Duplass. Once the movie does get to the third act, the suspense does die down because they do take a break for a while when it comes to building the suspense 
sense, but luckily it actually picks up right after. And the last problem I personally did have with the film is just that Aaron, while he's a character I did like, he did make some very dumb decisions. I'm going to say once you get to the second half of the film, he actually did make decisions that were dumb, but the dumbest decision he makes is at the ending. Without spoiling anything, of course, what the hell there? Really? You actually make that certain decision at the ending? And not to mention that what happened at the ending before we did get to the last scene, it was pretty predictable as well. Like, I knew that was honestly going to come. But overall, you guys, Creep, I can't believe I'm saying this, is a found footage horror film that I personally feel is actually great. It's simple, it gets to the point, the storyline is easy to follow, but it is very inventive. The two actors actually made this film very entertaining. You didn't need other characters. Just having two characters throughout the film actually work and coming from someone that isn't exactly a fan of the horror genre consider me impressed with creep i'm gonna give creep three and a half out of four stars i'm really going that high for this film it truly is great and yeah i can't believe it patrick bryce mark duplass Great job writing this film, you guys. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about Creep. And I would also love to give a huge thank you to Oscar the Movie Guy for coming here to review Creep. He's a very cool dude, you guys. He has a very cool channel. So if you guys want to check out that channel, I'm going to leave a link to Oscar's channel in the description down below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.